turn. He's speaking. He's speaking. He's speaking. All right. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Unless we're going to wait until the complete end, just in case there's something. What that three minutes? Something else. It's something like that. You know, you can't see no time on none of these on none of these joints. So that's it, man. That's 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 the record. Uh where do I start? Um I think he went hard. I think I mean it's my first listening. I gotta listen again. But all first listen again. I'm gonna be straight up. I don't necessarily care for the beat. And Maybe it's his voice on the I got beat, you. right? Just I'm I'm just being straight up, but uh, his lyrics it sound like it sound like he's saying some crazy things, like twenty people in your entourage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying one next to you, they don't really like it. They they all there because you paying them. They they praying on your downfall type. Like I again, it's my first time listening to it. Uh, I like the let's start from the beginning. The title is what six sixteen. Mm-hmm. What is it? Correct. Six sixteen. And uh no, nah, that's not the whole thing. It's like six sixteen in uh in LA. I love that. I'm gonna be straight up. Cause you know that's like that's a Drake thing, right? Like uh mm-hmm. he has mm-hmm. um let me let me look it up. Hold up. I know he got a couple of these songs, but that's that's a that's a Drake thing. Uh, and I think also I think six sixteen is like even like something to do with Canada as well. Hold up. I told y'all it's my first like this is my first so listen. while he's while he's pulling that up, I'm gonna throw my little uh, uh my little tidbits oh, yeah. in. First of all, let us remember this is two disc records in one week. Y'all complain that he took too long to reply. Y'all got that man up out his throne to get in the studio to give y'all work. This man is giving you work. Period. Let's say that off top. You know what I'm saying? For those of you that felt like he wasn't, that he wasn't war ready, I feel like Kendrick got three, four more of these joints. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is a gift. This is a he's just gonna keep coming. Now, we also felt like Drake was gonna come back. I heard uh, the streets was going nuts saying Drake coming back in 24 hours. Drake coming back. I I even and look and, and our last stream, I even said he's gonna be back in 48 hours. I was super confident in it. And I'm I'm not necessarily disappointed. Let's clarify something. I'm not I'm not disappointed if he don't drop, but it it, it make me feel some kind of way. Like, yo, bro, like. You was really calling for this. You asked him to come out. You asked him to drop. You said you was ready. So what's up? What are we doing now? Like how how are we carrying it? Now Kendrick done put put more more rhymes pun your head top. What y'all going to do? How are we going to do it? You know what I'm saying? I see the chat going. Mr. Brock, shout out to you. Jay Green, shout out to you. Apparently it's the time OJ caught OJ Simpson caught a body. Wow. Shout out to you for that. Uh, six sixteen is also Father's Day. Wow. Uh, six one six is the number of the beast. I thought six 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 was the number of the beast. Like, is that the area code for the beast? And then six 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 is the part of his first part of his real number. Like, does the beast have any other? Th- Technically, the beast has all types of numbers. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Is it different for a- different area codes? If we're talking about the beast. Um, but anyway. The, I, this is the other part I want to say. Now he has widened, uh, he has widened his shots to now academics is catching yeah. pieces. Uh, he's starting to aim at a bunch of different individuals. So I mean, so, yeah. So what I, I couldn't find what I was looking for, but I know like this is a direct stab at Drake because Drake always does this little like AM PM thing. What he had four, four like eight nine AM in Dallas. He had uh, four mm-hmm. PM in Calabasas. Um, he has uh 8 a.m. in 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 um Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? So like that's a Drake thing. So when I first when, the first thing I'm looking at, I like that, right? I like that because it's like, bro, I'm coming right at you. I like the back to back drop. When did Kendrick Lamar drop? What was it? The day before yesterday? It was my, no, it was Tuesday. He dropped Tuesday. on Tuesday. Today is Friday. He dropped on Tuesday. Same yeah. week twice. He giving us wait. He dropped on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So he dropped three, 72 hours. Remember, yeah. I said 72 hours. I'm like, Drake got 72 hours to respond. Kendrick Lamar came in 72 hours. What I do like, because again, I'm a Drake fan, right? I do like mm-hmm. that Drake wasn't able to drop just yet. Because now Drake mm-hmm. has more ammunition. And if you think about it, when Drake when Drake put out push-ups, 
Then Drake put out the AI song, right? Then Kendrick Lamar came. So Kendrick Lamar put out uh, a this song. Then he put out another song. And, then, uh, and now Drake has an okay. opportunity to put out something. I like so I like the I like the way you're yeah, coming so with that. I'm, Go ahead. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I think I really <laughs> He's matching energy. He's matching yes. energy, and he's being specific. Um, somebody said that six one six is Pac's birthday. How do you feel about that? Like, it's probably mad meanings. Like, it's, it's... now if, if if I don't know if any of y'all have actually had opportunity to see a lot of this. Uh, to see like people's breakdowns of the verse, because like when now I don't I ain't trying to throw. Jay under the bus more than he's thrown himself but like he was saying that oh man it seemed like Kendrick wasn't digging deep like he wasn't taking them heavy punches and I said I said there's a probably a lot of layered meaning to a lot of these verses that we are not picking up on right now because the initial we, we just flipping out over the initial stuff and the fact that he just responded right. so like now you see all these people coming out. They got their breakdowns. Bruh, I wasn't ready. I was like, oh, damn, he really is giving people the, the work work. So, like, look, I'm about to uh, upload this joint real quick, and I'm going to shoot it to you. I'm going I'm to I'm throw it on the screen. I got a couple of breakdowns that I, I wasn't ready for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of conversation around it. Now, the Tupac, I, I'm wondering why we are so – amped on bringing Tupac in the middle of this. Why is that such a thing? Yeah, I mean, he might have made a fake verse and it's something, something funny. Now, well, I mean, we got to keep bringing I, I mean, that I mean, man. That's disrespect, right? So it's like, if you, if you disrespect it, um, if you disrespect it, let's say the West Coast, right? By bringing up, putting mm -hmm. a, a fake Tupac verse out there. It's like, no, nah, I'm not going to let, mm -hmm. I'm not going to let that, that die. Like now you got to get beat. Right. It's like if, remember back in the day, I don't know if you remember back in the days the no you could everything was was um it was nothing off limits except for like your mother, right? When somebody be like your mother, right. they used to fight. I remember I remember back in the day we used to have the little the stick, right? I might be aging myself. <laughs> they put a stick on your shoulder and they're like this is your mother. If they knock the stick off your shoulder then that's what they doing to your mother. So like I got in mad fights where like I have a stick on my shoulder and knock the stick on my shoulder and I'm rumbling because that's my mother, right? So it's it's, it's kind of similar. Right. Not saying that uh, Tupac is nobody's father or nothing like that, but they respect them. We got to understand it was a whole East Coast West Coast beef, right? Tupac represented mm -hmm. West Coast. So it's like now nah, you're not about to disrespect mm -hmm. the West Coast like that. So I can see why He's adamant on um, continuing to bring up this Tupac thing. That's just my opinion again. Okay. I respect that. I respect that. It's just starting to, that, that little small component is starting to get me a little, it's starting to get me a little annoyed. You know what I mean? I'd be like, all right, okay, okay, okay. We did enough with the Tupac thing. Let's move on. Like y'all, y'all got lyrics. We got ways we could really discuss this and go at it. So let's kind of keep it focused in that direction. But, but yeah, let me ask you shout this. out to oh, them. You ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Did you, um, did you share something? Okay. Not yet. Nah. So, I think, so yeah. on um, it is what it is podcast with Cam and Mace. They was they said something that I thought was interesting. Like only West Coast people, like make the divide of like West Coast versus East Coast. Like because over here, I, you would never hear me say East Coast. Like yeah, I represent the East Coast. Like nah, I'm from Baltimore. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm from yeah. over West Baltimore. I don't even say Maryland. Like I don't even say. Like I know, uh, uh, they were talking about how like in Cincinnati, Ohio, things like that. They say the Midwest, maybe, but I don't even go in that specific. Mm -hmm. I just say Baltimore. You feel me? Like and, and like New York niggas say New York, right? So like it's funny to hear Fact. them say that because I, I do always hear like L.A., like Compton. What you know? I don't know all the specific places um on the West Coast, but they mm -hmm. be like the West Coast versus East Coast. It's like nah, it's either us against you or nothing. If that makes sense, but I. I was yes. wondering, um, what was your take on it? Yo, I thought that was so true. I definitely, like, that shit hit me in a different way. And I was like, the West never gave up the beef. Like, we just moved on. But the West Coast feel, still feel some kind of way. Even though they've been winning like a motherfucker for the last 20 years. Like, I, yo, if we really, like, let's be real the, honest. The, war? the music war. Like, when you're talking about who's, who's the hottest coast in the in the in the world right now the hottest coast in hip-hop is going to be the south number one and nobody's going to argue with the south number two is going to be the west coast west coast is, is murdering right now what and then new york and the, the, south, and east, and the coast east coast, coast? or oh, no that's not how it works mm -mm, that's not how it works 
The South is just the South. The South don't take nothing with the East Coast. So, like, and to be honest with you, the only people really battling that out for supremacy is the South and the West Coast. You know what I mean? New York ain't really come. Like, who's really? I'm talking about new yeah, fresh. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not gonna argue that. I, I just I, when I think of uh, East Coast, I think of um, the South as well. But what do you mean? What do you mean? Hey, Somebody you said what? You say y'all don't fuck with us West Coast niggas. It's a fact. Who told you? Yo, you know what it sounds like, my my G. That's in the it's in the chat. You only feel that way because that's something you made up in your head. <laughs> we love to go to like I've never been like yo. I ain't going out L.A. We love yeah, going to nice. L.A. I love eating out L.A. I love L.A. girls. I like L.A. weed. I don't even smoke weed, but shoot, I had when I was out west coast. Yo, y'all got y'all got cool places to hang out. Y'all got nice beaches. What are you talking about? Like we love the oh, west coast. The only thing I even love going to y'all hoods. Y'all hoods are fun as hell. Our shit looks like yo. Come to Baltimore. Our shit fucked nah, up. Fact. The West Coast young hoods I mean, is nice. Is Let's like, go. I'm not going to sit up here and stunt though. Like L- L.A. outside of the pe- well, Hollywood. Let's not say L.A. I don't really like Hollywood mm-hmm. because it gives Hollywood like people are fake. They only want to they 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 ask you what you do so they can so they can know how they're going to treat you. And I don't like that. It's it's like that in Atlanta, Atlanta as well. Atlanta is Black mm-hmm. Hollywood. It's like let me find out what you do. The first thing they ask you is what's your Instagram, like what you do. And it's like mm-hmm. I don't really why. Wow, so you can judge how you want to treat me, how you can gauge how you want to treat me. Nah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't treat me. My Instagram shouldn't be dependent on. You shouldn't treat me by my Instagram numbers or how many followers I got or how much motion I got. Like that's weird. That's corny. And I feel like that's a lot of Hollywood. That's a lot of Atlanta. And I just don't rock like that. So whatever. He said, "Us East Coast niggas don't care for this West versus East ish." All right, I don't even know. Okay, yeah, yeah and I, and I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. I first thought that Drake would drop on Kendrick's wife's birthday, which is next Sunday, which is also Mother's Day, but he may need to respond quicker. Okay. Yo, the last thing you want to do is bring somebody wife into this. Kendrick never spoke on Drake's child, or you know he ain't got no girl. On so the like, he kinda I did, feel like kinda twice. He said, um, why would I waste my time uh, trying to get dirt on you when I got a child to raise? But you don't know nothing about that. And then he also said, um, what he said, something, it gets shaky. And, uh, if it ever gets say shaky, I might have to park your son. I mean. Right. Eh, I mean, once again, it's more so less about his son and more about him not being a father. I didn't talk about your son. I'm talking about your inability to be a father. <laughs> yeah, you can have a kid, but that don't mean you being a father to that kid. That's what he's, and that's what he's really okay. saying. So th- there's a nuance. There's a nuance in it. But once again, you can't tell somebody how to feel, you know, about being right. attacked. So I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said, I'm from South Baltimore. <laughs> Shout out to you, my G. You know what I mean? All right. So everybody in the joint, I just need y'all to start teeing in on what's really good. What we got? Uh, what we got? What we got? What's this? So throw that clip up. This is a supposed. Oh, sorry. That's not it. That's not it. That was for another show. My bad. I was about to say, what, you got, <laughs> um, what you got going on, man? You just got to see it. Right. Yeah, that was the wrong one. I thought this was the joint. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. All right. But uh, I need y'all to go in. Like, how do y'all rate this Kendrick song? Let's throw the Kendrick joint back up. I want to listen to it one more time. Let's let's get a sense of what we got. Have going you ever on. thought that? Out here, bro. Bro. I love this for the sport, bro. I just, I, hey, I'm not, I'm not pandering to no side, bro. I'm going to just say what I want to say. I'm still not mm-hmm. the biggest fan of it, bro. I, I love I love the competitiveness. I love this for hip hop. I love the fact that he dropped back to back. I love all of that. But I can't sit here and honestly say that I'm a fan of this. Hmm. Uh, uh, I can understand that. Hold on, I got it. Yeah, man. Like that's uh This is it. This is a lyricism. Like we've if if we go past the commercial, you know, antics, the internet antics. This is this is what hip hop is about. It's about bars. It's about lyrics. Yeah. So and and to to that extent, this is going to get a little annoying and intricate because it's all about 
This is all about who's going to make the better verses, who is going to make people change their mind about who you are. This is about changing perception through the power of the right. word. And that's not always the coolest thing. Yeah, no, go no, ahead. No, take, right, take it right. And I was going to say that. And you know what's funny about this, bro? Hold up. First of all, before we, before I go, 616 apparently is Canadian's Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's, see, see. Day. that's wow. So again, I love the supplement. Like I love all the shots, right? But I can't make this up, right? So in my mind, just yesterday, I'm like, "Yo, the only way Drake really gonna uh, up on Kendrick Lamar is he drop one of them AM PM type songs, like the vibe, because like they're one mm -hmm. of some of my favorite songs because he really be rapping, he be having uh, a, a bunch of lyric lyricism going on. Well, he be exploring mm -hmm. his lyricism on, on those type records." So for Kendrick Lamar to drop one of these, in my perspective, it's kind of like a a play on Drake before he even do that. It's like I'm about to do, I'm about to beat you to your mm -hmm. your own punch. So the fact that he does that, mm -hmm. in my opinion, is also dope. So like again, I love everything around it. I can't say I'm a big fan of it. I do think Drake needs to drop some. He gotta lead. He gotta push the gimmicks to the side when he when he when he does drop. I don't think he, I don't think yes. he comes and wins this battle doing a lot of gimmicks like. Like even like back to back was fire, but I don't think I necessarily want to hear another back to back at this moment. I kind of want to hear Drake get in his his bag, like on some lyrics no, type, yeah. type stuff. Yeah, this is definitely a time where, like I said, you you had it the right way when you said he got to make it a hit and he got to come hard. It's got to be a hit and it's got to be murderous. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's got it's got to be something where everybody sit back and go, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if Kendrick is coming, you know, just a little bit crazy with the lyricism and intricacy, like, nah, Drake, Drake can take it there now. But I still, I still I stand people, on what I say, bro. I still think that Drake has the ability to come back and, and make something better than both of them mm -hmm. tracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah, I, I'm not saying that he down and out. I, I, I'm just look, look. This conversation is all about Kendrick is giving y'all what y'all wanted. Y'all wanted a war. He giving you a war. Y'all wanted him to come with multiple tracks. He's giving you that. Like you know, what I mean, is this a knockout punch? Fuck no. And let, I'm gonna be even on, more honest with you. This is weaker than the okay, one before. Thank you. Somebody talk telling the truth, man. This is this is this is weaker than the one before. This is not the quality level that I enjoyed on the thank last you. one. The last one I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." This one, I feel like, "All right, cool." I, I feel like you just being consistent at this point. What? You know what I'm saying? And I think a part of him was thinking, "Yo, Drake is going to drop today." So let me drop something when he dropped. I think that's what the I thought that's I'm thinking that's what the thought process was. All right, you going to drop something? I know he going to drop we all thought that he was going to drop today. So I'm thinking he was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to catch this nigga. No, nah, I was going to say, um, bro, I just, I'm just curious to see what Drake drops. And, I, and I'm also curious to know, I'm curious to see if Kendrick Lamar responds to a Drake this. Like, I'm, I'm, I want to mm -hmm. see how mature Kendrick is. Like, because this is like round one, but you know, in battles is, is multiple rounds, right? So if Drake drops something that's mm -hmm. fire. I'm super mm -hmm. eager and anxious to see if Kendrick responds. I don't want to see the mature, like, I drop and I'm good. I don't need to say nothing else. Mine is better. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I want to see this go mm -hmm. back and forth. I, I I would give, I want to see at least three rounds. At least three rounds. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be five, six. You don't have to go, go back and forth forever. But at least three rounds and I'll be satisfied. Mm-hmm. I'm with you on that. I'm loving it. Let's do it. Let, and, and honestly, w once again, let's kind of go back to my original thing we said a couple of weeks ago, uh, a couple of pods ago, where I was saying this needs to be all out war. Yeah, we need to be going crazy right now. Everybody needs to get involved. Let's let's make this let's make this the event of the year. You know what I'm saying? Let's go crazy, like you know what I mean? And because it's gonna make it's gonna yo rising tide lifts all boats. Yo, if if everybody starts getting involved, everybody gonna start streaming other people's music. So if 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 other niggas in the click start throwing shit out, shit, you you really need TDE needs to get involved in this. They've been struggling with getting their artists to the level of Kendrick. Why they not getting involved so they can start getting they can start getting you know, siphoning off the heat off of this beef? Because the only person that's eating right now is Drake and Kendrick. That's yeah, it. Nah, and really, let's be real, Drake is the only one really eating because he got his shit on streaming. Kendrick ain't put his on streaming yet. I think, I think his his joint is, is only on, on YouTube. Oh, the I last one is on streaming? 
I gotta look it up. I'm gonna look yeah, it up right I, now just so I can see. Also, I, another thing I don't understand, bro. I said this before. I'm not. I don't understand like the the taps. Like the last one was a strong jab, but I want to see some nuclear bombs. Like why are we waiting so long to to drop the heat? The everything that y'all holding and that the things that you know about the next person. Why aren't you saying it now? Like I don't want to hear this. Like yeah, I could, I should, I would. Once you do this, don't do. I don't want to hear that. Like send that mm. nuclear bomb so we could be so we can listen and be like, oh wow, I want to know what you know. What, 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 wait, what they right. say? What they say? I want to know the tea. Like, I, I, I would tell me the tea. You get what I'm saying? Like, tell me the tea. Like, y'all, y'all talk about what y'all know behind closed doors, but y'all ain't saying it. Like, y'all making it. Please don't make this mm-hmm. one. Please don't make one, this one of them things. No, I definitely get you there. I, I definitely respect that. I, it's just that I think there is a point. This is this is the reason why I, I agree with you. Don't talk about having a nuclear bomb unless you're ready to use the nuclear bomb. And that adds into the next statement I'm going to make. If you know you got something that could really ruin somebody's career, why are you threatening with a nigga and you're not about to pull it? Don't talk about a gun unless you're going to pull it. Don't show the gun unless you're going to pull it. So, like, I feel like y'all being nervous and scared now, we way past that point. And why you keep punching, and Kendrick, why you keep punching on being a dad, like, on him being a bad dad? Why is Drake a bad dad? Like, and, and this might be the setup. This might be the jab, jab, set up to the knockout punch. Maybe it's conspiracy theory. Maybe it's not Drake's kids. Or conspiracy theory, Drake got two, three, four other kids because, you know, he famous. I've heard, because I, I don't want to, I, I, I just sound crazy. I'm about to talk about another nigga dick. I heard this nigga don't be using condoms. I heard he be raw dogging bitches out here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is crazy. But, but um, no, I mean, maybe, I don't know, Kendrick Lamar might be talking to his, his baby moms. I don't know. You can't trust nobody out here. Like, right. he probably getting this information from her. And also, um, in, in his last song, uh, 616 in L.A., or 616 in L.A., I, I, uh, I heard Kendrick Lamar mention something about Drake being a bully. Like, cause I guess Drake was mm-hmm. trying to like bully him to respond and things like that. And me personally, I'm not like I like that. I want, I, mm-hmm. I kind of want Drake to, to to remain the bully because again, what do you hear about Drake all the time? He's corny, right? Talk about all these young mm-hmm. like it's like he's soft, he's light skinned he you're not black, right? So it might sound weird, but I'm not upset with Drake being a bully in his rap stuff because. Outside of rap, he don't like he always getting about how he's corny or how he's not black. You know what I'm saying? So I would love to see him really step up and really put his foot on somebody's neck. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to see none of that stuff. Like prove him wrong, prove me wrong, because I think you corny too. Prove me wrong, bro. Prove me wrong. But do you really feel like? Can we be honest and say, you, does Drake come off as the guy that can really put his foot on a nigga? He doesn't, neck? but that's why I want to see it happen. That's exactly why I want to see it happen because he don't. It's like, bro. I, like it's funny. I think Cam May said this. Like back in the day when they beef, you really believe somebody could get hurt. And this beef, like it's like, bro, I'm just waiting for some good music. I'm waiting for some content. I feel like, like Sam Adam. He said, acts like a thug in his music, and at times though, he said, let's be honest, Drake is not cut like that. Exactly. That I want him to the, show. I, show me. You need to get in the ring. Yo, you got go start training with Wiz Khalifa, dog. Get you get a real six pack instead of the spray version. You know what I'm saying? And and, and let's get it cracking. But I feel like he ain't gonna want to put down them champagne spritzers that he enjoys and all that high end exquisite food he be I, eating to actually really, really become that dude. I just go want ahead. Drake to solidify his spot in hip hop. Like it's so many questions about him writing, about him getting all these features, uh using people to come up. Like I just want him to solidify his spot hip hop. I seen Joe said something about um he want to see Drake do this with a uh like a a valuable opponent, somebody that's that that's of Kendrick standard. Mm-hmm. And I don't agree with that mm-hmm. only because I feel like Meek Mill at the time was that guy. Like let's not forget. Let's not mm-hmm. again, we talk about this recency bias like let's not forget who Meek Mill is and was at the time. And let's not forget Meek Mill this. Like Meek Mill this was good. Back to back was just something we never heard before, right? It was different. Like it, yep. it, it was, it was witty. It was good, and 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 it had the the world rocking at a time. But let's not forget, like mm-hmm. to say, I, I ain't agree with that. To say you want to hear Drake, uh, come at somebody of a higher standard, like a Kendrick Lamar, as if, bro, at a time we was only uh, raving about Meek Mill lyric ability. Like at a time we was only talking about how good Meek Mill was as a battle rapper. Remember, it was a time where we were saying Meek Mill. 
wasn't a complete artist. He was just a battle rapper. It was a time we were saying that. So mm-hmm. when Drake comes out and he demonstrates some some lyrical ability to, to to smash at one point who everybody thought was the king of that battle rap stuff and now come out and say ah i want to see him do it through a, a, a higher level of competition i ain't like that i, I just ain't like that i ain't like that because i thought meek was on that level at that time i i definitely feel like he had momentum on his side he had culture on his side uh, he had a he had a whole team of people backing him as far as like having a label with dope artists on the label that were all doing their own thing. And like he's a lyricist at the end of the day. But battle is battling is different and battling on the street is different from battling in a rap battle league, which is different from battling in you know, on a, on a main stage with bright lights. And like, that's why I say it's so complicated to see how somebody's going to bear against an opponent in different stages. So Meek might've been great battling dudes in the street. He might've been great battling niggas in the studios behind closed doors, but now you're dealing in the bright lights of stardom. You just started dating. I feel like Meek Mill has always had struggles dealing with celebrity. But now you having you kind of don't like the celebrity thing, and now you beefing with Mister Celebrity. Yeah. That's a whole complicated situation to be a part of. So that's kind of hard to navigate. I feel like the the skillful part about Kendrick is by him not engaging in anything other than what he wants to engage with. It helps him control the narrative, and it helps him control how the fight is going to be mm-hmm. fought. I'm not responding to nothing on social media. I'm only talking about no, either you disrespect me verbally. Or it's about rounds. Yeah. So really, I'm really coming at you, uh, uh, Drake, because you shots, you sent shots at me. I'm sending shots back, but I'm not gonna get involved in all of this goofy ass other Bruh. shit you're doing. So like, nobody's gonna care about how he feels about it or how it makes nah, him look. Facts. I but, just wanna not to be that guy, but I just wanna take a, a moment and appreciate both of these guys. Like, I wanna take a moment and really yeah. send love to both of these guys and, because Kendrick Lamar could have easily not responded and. Me personally, with his fan base online, the way I'm seeing people going crazy, I don't think people would have looked at him any differently. I because he has such a large fan base, like, and mm-hmm. again, I'm not that familiar, right? But I just don't think that like, yeah, we niggas, we probably would have been like, man, he ain't respond to Drake, man. You know what I'm saying? But his fans still would have been there. He could have still dropped the album and it still would have did good. Mm-hmm. Him not responding wouldn't have mm-hmm. did what J. Cole did. Right, him, him, J. Cole mm-hmm. responded and apologizing. I feel like that was far more, more worse than not responding. So I think he had mm-hmm. the ability to not respond and it wouldn't hurt him, in my opinion. But mm-hmm. the fact that he did respond and he responded in this sense, I love it. And and like I'm super grateful mm-hmm. for this moment because he gave us this moment. He could have he could have robbed us of this moment, mm-hmm. but he gave it to us. He's engaging in it. And I think it's I think it's dope, man. I think it's dope for hip hop. I appreciate these fellas, man, for real. Right. And even, um, you know, somebody was in the comments talking about like uh, Drake is responding like a team. No, he's responding like a dude that's worth a billion dollars that has mad free time on his hands and understands hit the power of him hitting the publish mm-hmm. button. He knows every time he hit that publish button, he's moving culture like and that's something different. Can you fathom your mind being able to post a picture and then a thousand blogs are posting mm-hmm. about it? You know, two random niggas. <laughs> is on a live stream talking about it. So, like, when you have that amount of power and, yo, and let's be honest, as much as we want to hate on Drake, Drake is very responsible with his power. He doesn't abuse his power. He doesn't go over the top. He doesn't He doesn't get involved in a bunch of politics. He doesn't get out here spewing a lot of negativity. He's not abusive, you know, saying publicly. He's really, he's really, he's very meticulous about what he does. And he really focuses on being uplifting versus being negative even when he's trying to throw disses and all that it's all done from like this positive kind of you know what i'm saying instead of just being like man fuck you niggas he'll be like i'm i'm rising above the negative energy like you know what i'm saying he's always giving y'all this different this elevated vibe and i respect that about him man like and if you want to come out and, and, and if you wake up in the morning and you just feel like you want to fuck up the world god gave you the power Hey, have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him for that. All right. So I I got the clip down here with the breakdown. Whenever you are ready, sir.
<laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So, I love this time period. I love this because instead of me trying to break this shit down in the cipher, I can just find somebody else and have them do the talking. Thank you, mm-hmm. sir. Thank you. And y'all should follow that young man. Uh, his political takes are fire. Uh, he definitely be going at niggas on social media, especially all of them right wing asshole niggas. So please support him, bro. He's 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 one of the ones. And this little nigga like 21 years old. So follow yeah. him, bro. He taking on 50 year old fucking politicians on nah, some real I, shit. I, I, I mean, again, I, it's, um, there's no argument with uh, Kendrick Lamar's lyrical ability. None whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think like the young man uh, just showed that he's super witty when it comes to his words. Mm-hmm. My only thing is I want to hear something that I want to listen to over and over again. That's it. <laughs> I mean, and, Yo, I'm really mad at that's you all I'm that saying. Like, I just want to hear something that I actually want to listen to outside. No, uh, like that yeah. was one of them songs that was outside. It still is outside. Mm-hmm. I don't think... Um, mm-hmm. Kendrick Last song is an outside song. Yeah, I know people want to say they played it on ESPN. I mean, I just that's just my opinion, you guys. Whatever. Um, I'm not listening to it outside. Uh, I'm not listening to it to go turn up. I might listen to push up to go turn up, to be honest, though. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Like okay. but um no, nah, Kendrick Lamar is like that. Like his 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 his, his lyricism is like that. And the, the last song again, I sound I, I said it, it sounds like he's he raps like a, a run on sentence. It's, I just don't like the, the delivery. That's it. I will, I, I'll add on to this. Like, if you listen to like a, a Jadakiss this, you know, verse, it's gonna be witty. It's gonna be funny, and it's gonna be it's gonna be more like relatable. Like he's not he like he could shoot over your head if yeah. he wanted to. But I think he enjoys giving you these bars that'll connect with something that'll make you laugh or go, Oh shit. Like this is like, like, uh, our Johnson said, Oh man, this nigga is like nerdy. Cause the way he breaking all this shit down. And I'm like, well, that's who Kendrick, that's his audience. My nigga. Like those are, the, like I said, the niggas that love doing research and digging deep and you know, uh, uh, all of that conspiracy theory shit. That's his audience. You want, if you want to defeat Drake, you gotta be more like Jadakus. You got to have the crazy, funny bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I, I'll even, uh, I'm going to take it back. Hold on. Let me, let me throw this up. Like to some, some, some classic shit. I was looking shit. for, um, I brought this up when I was talking to Wayno. It was a, it was a battle mm-hmm. rap where somebody went against Loaded Lux. And they was like, basically like saying Loaded mm-hmm. Lux is good. But what's the point of all of these, these, uh, these lyrics if your audience can't understand it. Same with Kendrick right. Lamar to me in some cases. It's like, yeah, bro, mm-hmm. you, you say a lot of good stuff, but it's like, bro, sometimes you got to say something, you got to dumb your lyrics down so your people can understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's why I said mm-hmm. it was a good read. Like when I'm reading it, I'm putting it together. I'm like, damn, this is deep. Like, this is fire. You got to do your homework. And a part of me appreciate that. I'm not going to lie. But when I'm listening to something to enjoy it, to have fun, I don't want to have to do all of that. I'm just being straight up. Like as a, as a, as a beef battle, like I think it's, it's pretty cool because you, you, you can look at the lyrics it's like, damn, it makes you have to think twice. It makes you have to go into like, who is this person? What is this? And I think that's, I think that's in, in, interesting. But when I'm, when I want to hear something that I want to hear outside, man, I'm not trying to do all that thinking all that. It's like, bro, what? Like, like I just want something that I get. Let me- Facts. Throw this up here. This is this is petty. This is the era I came from. Fifty Cent taking pictures of Fat Joe on a beach. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and like Ooh. coming out with these. It's called Elephant in the that's Sand. Horrible. He don't even speak Spanish. He a fraud. But even this, <laughs> like that's something but, that I could buy, I could rock with. You get what I'm saying? Like I know Kendrick Lamar fans. That's that me. summertime, bro. Yeah. That's that summertime. That's that. That's that shit. When you in the car, you gonna rock it. He gonna make you laugh. You know what well, I mean? Like this is this is the shit. I'm well, I'm with Drake, it. Go ahead. Fifty Cent been posting a lot of Drake recently. Yeah. Hmm. He had the whole kid drop on mm-hmm. pushups. Mm-hmm. You might mm-hmm. be getting some pointers for Fifty. Maybe Fifty is. Goes right for uh Drake over there. <laughs> hey, let, let me, me tell you something. Let me not put them rumors out there. Let me not put them rumors out there. 
you really need them big investors, bro. You opening up that big gigantic studio down in uh, Louisiana, bro. The tax breaks ain't enough. He's about to spend about at least close to a billion dollars to get this shit going. And you know, Drake is out here producing TV and film. So like, yo, yeah, nigga, I, I need to be able to call big people like him that can green light anything. You know what I'm saying? Shit, he got to make that green light gang work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but back to what we were saying, like making sure that the bars is really out here killing niggas and making sure that the the general populace, everybody ain't go to college. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have like an encyclopedia knowledge about the history of the, you know, the film industry. <laughs> like, <laughs> my bad. A lot of people don't know nothing about no, shit. You're but right. But what I will say is like, it is kind of so just playing devil's advocate, right? It is kind of cool to hear the, the, uh, the rewind or the playback in the beginning of um Kendrick Lamar's mm-hmm. what was the first what was the first disc called? I don't even know the name. Uh, Euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah, oh, Euphoria. you talking about uh, yeah. like it, it's dope to hear that, not understand it, and then people go do the research and find it out. Like it's cool. That's right. cool as a like a learning moment, right? But again, when I'm listening to it, I don't like the first listen, I'm like, I don't know what this is, but it kind of makes you want to do more research. So I, I mean, I guess you can go either way. I think that's kind of cool. Like it, it's kind of cool for sure. But um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I think, as long I think as you said up, what? Go ahead. No, I said as long as this shit get turned up, I'm with it, bro. Like, I, I'm tired of the like. Let's not get boring. It's supposed to be an interesting weekend, so let's see what's gonna happen. Like for real, right now, my question to you is: This is the second record to drop in one week. Do we get? Do we get a Drake response Saturday or Sunday? Uh, I don't know if that's smart. Is the weekends or Cinco de Mayo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. We got a little party weekend this weekend. If, Do we get a proper response? We got it. We got it. Drake, give me something to turn Drake, up to. Ah, that, this might put Drake in a sticky situation. I'll explain. Hmm. I don't think, again, I said this before. I don't think Drake wins in a gimmicky record. I think he has to come back with some lyrics and that might be something that we don't want to party to, but it is Cinco de Mayo weekend. I could see like a gimmick record that goes crazy around the world, all in the club, Cinco de Mayo, we partying. But I personally, I don't know if I want to hear that because Kendrick came so hard. That's just my opinion. That's just my thought about it. What about this? You give him a three pack. Come on, it's Drake. I can put I can put an EP together, three, four records. I can give you a radio joint. I can give you the look, look, we can give you two beef records and a radio joint. Here you go. Boom. Mill out the gate. Seven days. Yo, the whole weekend will be lit up. The clubs go crazy. And you know what I'm saying? The internet gonna go crazy with the beef records. Like, I, I feel like this is the move. Like, get this, it's time to get it going. Shit. Look, look, get party, uh, a party, party next door. Put him on a hook or something. Come on, let's turn this shit the fuck up and get it going. Like that's what I'm. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Drake responds this weekend because it's starting to look dark, and you know his fans are starting like to, you know, like Jay Hill starting to convert. He'll be a Kendrick fan <laughs> of another record. I think they on yeah, Instagram yeah, right now, like just give Kendrick his fans. I mean his his props. I'm like, yeah. bro, I've been giving Kendrick props. Bro. I've been I've been giving him props all them all damn weekend. Like shit. Like I mean all damn week. Get him. Get them. Hey, hey, Instagram, get them. Like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't let it fly. Like, what yo. else do y'all want me to say? Like, I think I'm the most unbiased in this argument. Like, I've said Drake ain't had yeah, hits. Is, I mean, like, I is. mean, classic. Like, come on, guys. Like, they that's said, not nah, they true. Said, um, I guess I said I didn't think um, Euphoria was going to, uh, like, it was a good read. And I didn't think it was like mm-hmm. a turn up song. But it got like nine and a half million streams on, on the internet. So it's like, I mean, I get it. Nine and a half million plays. I mean, cool, but he has a, a large audience, though. Like, come on, man. Like, of course that's going to happen. No? Like, we're in the middle of a beef. Like, I feel like we need to stop with the numbers. Like, y'all, like, we we in the middle of a rap hip-hop beef. So, please, leave your numbers rhetoric, and, rhetoric and at home. And he dropped it on YouTube the first day. We Who knows how many right. views, uh, how many plays Drake song would have got? Because, again, if he didn't if he didn't play all them gimmicks, right? The AI version came out. Then he tra- then he changed the um then he, he changed the, the beat. Then he sent it to academics. Mm-hmm. Then he never posted it, right? Right? Like he didn't post mm-hmm. it. I think Kendrick Lamar posted Euphoria. 
I think somebody else was posting mm -hmm. uh Drake's uh push-ups. Mm -hmm. By the time Drake post posted it on um DSPs, we didn't already heard it. Like Yeah, yeah. And and, and then let's be real, like everybody's stealing a record. You can fucking Google that song, and there's 20,000 sites that's already hosting, and they got all 50,000, 100,000 plays a piece. So, I mean, like, that's why I say, I, when we talking about this rap beef, let's not talk about numbers. Like, that that don't even make no damn and, sense. Like, because... And y'all said ahead. I'm backtracking. I'm not backtracking. I, I've been consistent the, very, the whole time. I don't think Kendrick is entertaining to me. It's so, super simple. I don't care what y'all saying. I don't care. I don't think he's that entertaining. And when it comes to this beef, as history has shown, rap beef isn't just about the raps all the time. It's about how you present it, how you deliver it, how you like when you joking on somebody, how the, how the jokes come off. Like, that, bro, come on. I've been consistent with my take, whether you agree with it or not. Y'all been mm -hmm. killing me on the internet. And I've been standing up strong. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what my man uh, Devin Haney said, 10 toes down, I've been standing up strong. I've been fighting. I've been fighting. Go ahead, Jay. You were saying something. Yo, uh, did you ever hear the Office of Ricky record that, that 50 Cent did? I think so, yeah. Yo, I think that shit is fucking hilarious. I just wanted to give this as a prime example of a record that really fucking works. Hold on, let me let me play you a little bit of this joint. Like, oh no, this is definitely not it. Uh -uh, I want Office of Ricky. That joint, he had Office of Ricky, man. That shit was fucking fire. Like, it's funny, it's funny because I don't think, you know, you know what I'm learning through, through these okay. conversations? It. you would never be able to have these conversations on the opposite opposite end of the spectrum because everybody is biased like what is the real right. argument between kendrick lamar and, J and drake like what is the legitimate argument i'm i'm curious to know like if, if it was two people that was unbiased that was having a conversation i'm curious to hear that because on the internet everybody's going to go with who they who they think the best is yeah that's this game period that's this whole, that this is barbershop fodder. This is you smoking with your homies. It's a Friday night and y'all just arguing it out. And you pick your side, they pick their side. And then we going to argue until we tired well, of arguing. Of facts, so and then can, we go, can we even, can we get facts out of this? How, how, all right. So how do you want to, how do you want to, uh, how do you want to create metrics? Where, what facts are we oh. talking about? Are we talking about how true the lyrics are? Are we talking about. So like when the young man how, just came on, right? He compared lyric to lyric. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's start with the name. Uh, pushups, right? The, the, um, pushups because it's a funny way on top dog got 50% of your business, right? The album cover, mm -hmm. the, the al album cover is uh the size chart seven men's us right six canadian whatever kendrick lamar euphoria euphoria has been talked about how it's uh you know it's been criticized because it's a lot of sexual activity with uh teenage kids right that's the depiction mm -hmm. and then they got the two uh, that's a factual comparison yeah now mm -hmm. you can say what you which one you like better but that's a factual comparison. If you want to be technical, Kendrick Lamar, his album cover and the name is it, it could be better. Like I think it's better than Drake's. Like okay. I think that's a factual comparison. Okay. Everything else is just okay. like fluff. Like what are we talking about? So like I'm gonna hear the debates when we're talking strictly facts. So you want us to you want us to go and get the uh get a white boy right, and then we just gonna start going line for line. All right, all right, who got the cover? All right, who wins the cover battle? All hey, right, cover like who we wins the intro battle? That, because I'm not biased in this. I don't these niggas. I mean, technically they kind of paying us because you know we get the content, but bro, these niggas ain't cut me no check. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't care about neither one. Like I like I'm a Drake fan, but just because I'm a Drake fan don't mean he can't do no wrong in my eyes. Like you got. I'm a grown man. Like I, I never, I never rock mm -hmm. like that. So I'm gonna tell you how I feel, why I feel about it. So like, I just want us to have like real, factual conversations and like unbiasedness. But it's just hard to have that on this internet. 